I'm currently in Huda's office. It's literally inside. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> <laughs> this is Huda! I had a seizure and the ambulance came. And that's why I've got all these bruises on my face since last night, if you're wondering. Apparently all of these fragrances hold memories. So what does this one hold? How are we going to shower without seeing each other butt naked? I never know how to start a YouTube video, but I'm back. I know, I'm sorry. It's been a couple of months. I think the last time we did a video, I was going to New York, but twist is now I'm now going to Dubai. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me because I've never been to Dubai before. I feel like in the UK, Dubai is like a really popular holiday destination and I'm going with my friend and it's not a brand trip. However, we are going to meet Huda and Mona. So that should be so exciting, but that's not the reason why we're going to Dubai. It's just, they live in Dubai, they're in the area, we're in the area. So, you know, we're going to make the most out of it. I'm so excited to meet Mona though, because she's the founder of the brand K Ali. And I don't know if you've ever tried these, but first you look at the packaging, but secondly, they smell so, so, so nice. <coughs> oh my god. That was not a good idea. I feel like where I film for TikTok doesn't work for YouTube because my face looks so bright right now. Talking about TikTok, guess the video I just did. I'll give you a hint. I use sugar and lemon. And if you guys know what videos I do on TikTok, you'll probably be thinking I put this in a lip gloss. And you'd be right because I did do that. I filmed a video of me making the lip gloss on TikTok. However, I didn't do a video of me trying it. So let's do it now. But honestly, it tastes really, really good because there's like loads of sugar in it. <laughs> it's not edible by any means, but like it tastes so good that basically I'm going to eat it. Don't eat the lip glosses you make though, or just don't eat a lip gloss in general don't do me i do need to start packing though because i literally leave tomorrow but first i need to show you something that i bought the other day and it's literally the best thing i've ever bought i don't know what you call it what do you call it not like a tv not like a it's a projector it's a projector okay so i bought a projector the other day it just looks so cool and look at that also don't don't mind that my friends gave me a pillow for my birthday with my face in it but that's not my face they face tuned it i promise <laughs> i do not look like that i promise I just hate packing and I don't know how I'm gonna pack everything. Everything's all in my suitcase, so I'm ready for Dubai, but I'll see you guys in the morning, see so yeah, night. I made it to the airport, I've literally had the worst morning. I had a seizure and the ambulance came, and that's why I've got all these bruises on my face since last night, if you're wondering. But um, I made it to the airport, I just need to find my friend Darcy, but we're flying Emirates, so I've already said that. I've never flown Emirates before, so that should be exciting. But I feel honestly so good, like I feel fine. But, like, obviously I had a seizure this morning, so I am still kind of like, very extremely tired and zoned out. We haven't even arrived in Dubai yet and I've already got passport issues, so Darcy is all the way over there. And then I need to still figure out what I'm doing. We made it through security, I didn't get um, hold hostage and- I did? Yeah. <laughs> they were like, how old are you? Yeah, they said to Darcy, how old is she? Cause she does look- No offense, 13. We made it onto the plane, train, what was called? The plane, we made it onto the plane. I'm trying to figure out what movie to watch. The airports here are so much nicer than the ones in England. Like, our nicest one's Heathrow, and that still does not compare to <laughs> the architecture of this airport. We're about to go into the room. This is the big reveal. Okay, this ah, is okay we're going in. <gasps> this is so nice. Okay, this is a bathroom. Wow. Okay, this is nice. Oh wait, are we sharing a bed? Yeah. I thought we had separate beds. Is that an issue? Am I, <laughs> I just want you to know that I punch in my sleep or I snore, so good luck with that. Oh my god. The bed's actually really comfy, but um, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Tomorrow we're seeing Huda and Mona, and we're gonna go to Wait, the hay. Yeah. How are we gonna shower without seeing each other butt naked? Oh my god, we did it. We're gonna see each other <laughs> naked in the shower. Wait, what? No, surely there must be a way. Yeah, there must be. Otherwise, the privacy is ridiculous. There must be a way. I'm ready for bed. I'm so tired. So yeah, night. Hey, we made it to the Huda Beauty Empire. I'm currently in Huda's office. It's literally inside. Do you wanna say hi? <laughs> <laughs> this is Huda! If you didn't know, that's it. <laughs> but yeah, oh my god, so this is where she does all of her business deals. I'm so busy. I'm always busy. <laughs> there she is. I love this mirror. So I, I think when I'm back in London, I need to get I need to get hold of yes. this mirror. We're just about to have lunch. This is the first food I'm about to try in Dubai. And I actually still don't really know what it is, but I believe it's like a flatbread and then we've got some orange juice, I think. I think that might be the veggie one. Look how good that looks. Okay, so you eat it closed. Yeah, and then if you cut it in half, and then you can eat it like a little parcel. Oh my god, okay. This is the most classic manakee. You can eat that too. Thank you. Uh, 
Yeah. It's actually salty, but it's cheesy. Mmm. Okay, just... mm. That's good. Almost like naan bread. We have just left Huda's office and we're now about to go into Kay Ali. Well, Kay Ali's office. <laughs> but, wow, okay, this is so exciting. Look at the table. My favorite fragrance in this whole entire library um, is this brand called Mekelif. I don't know how you say it in the I've French never heard way. Of that. It's very niche. Um, and it's called Watch by McAuliffe, and they used to sell it with like a little watch in the middle, but they they discontinued that, so you could pull it out and like put it on your keychain, whatever. Oh it was super cute. Can I smell it? Yeah, <laughs> I don't, I, it's, it's definitely like oxidized a oh little bit. So as God. you see, like even the cap is a little bit, you know, funny. But it's, I think it still smells good. Can I spray you? Yeah, of course. Okay. You don't mind? Like my here? My pleasure. Oh, wait. Well, like, you can do it on me, like. <laughs> okay. I should not be able to smell it that much. Okay, <laughs> you should fit it there. Yes, <laughs> Let it dry down though. I hope you like it. Oh, it's no. very sweet. I feel like you don't like it. Very... <laughs> <laughs> it's just spread all over you. Oh god, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, Once it's down, down, I like that. Once it's down, Let I me like put it. I'm it on myself. Apparently, all of these fragrances hold memories. So, what does this one hold? So many memories. First of all, my bestie from university, Alia Sweetie, big shout out to her. She bought me this for my birthday. Um, not this exact bottle, but like when I was, I think, 20 or 21. Wow. And it was my first niche fragrance because at the time I could not afford it. It was so expensive. It was like, let's say in dollars, like $300. Wow. And um, I was like, oh my God, I got this perfume for my birthday. I was so excited. So this is what started all of this. This started the obsession <laughs> with like niche, high quality, like fragrances that like really last forever. Like this, if you spray on you, like literally, sorry. It's fine. <laughs> like, no, I, I like it now. When you first spray it, I was like, oh shit, rub it but off. It lasts but no, I like it now. It's so like memorable. <laughs> so this up, is all done by good. hand, like put down by hand. They fill the bottle all by hand. So everything is hand done. Whilst I'm doing a video, I'm trying all of these different fragrances. And I just found this one. I know the packaging looks amazing, but the actual fragrance, I just sprayed on my hand. It smells so, so, so good. But yeah, this is just more of her fragrance wardrobe. It's literally insane. I saw these. I have these at home and I love, love, love this one right here, Hanami. I use that one a lot. So it's really cool seeing that. Mona's just writing on my little vanity case. Ah, oh, thank you. I thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you, honey. So, I'm gonna actually You're so use cute. That. I have the worst handwriting I'm though. Use that. But this is really cool because so you can put your Thank you, honey. And you can also move this out well. when you if oh, you want wow. to. So like it's meant to keep your you know your fragrances stored really nicely and Amazing. Thank, so you. Good, honey. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are so <laughs> sweet. Thank you, honey. Of course. Oh my god, of course. Hey, we have just left the Huda Beauty Empire. That was so fun. Huda and Mona are both the loveliest, but also like everyone who works for them is so lovely as well. But they gave us so much stuff. And you know what? I said to Mona that me and my mom love hand cream and she gave me three of them. Oh my like, god. So generous. They are so generous. Oh my god, we made it to the center of Dubai. I think this is a center, right? I'm not really sure. Yeah, this is so. Look, there's, there's the fudge. Ah! We are so British because there are so many different places that we could have eaten, but I think we're gonna end up at Nando's just because we want to try what a Dubai Nando's tastes like. If anyone asks where we went, that has given us recommendations. <laughs> if anybody asks where we went, we're gonna say Novikov <laughs> and not Nando's. We're in a different country, and we ended up in Nando's, and it's. <laughs> It's so sad because there's like there's so much variety around us and we just ended up here. But you know what? I'm happy because this, this Nando's looks better than the ones in the UK. The fries are so good here. This is honestly the best view I've ever had at a Nando's. It actually looks really good. What, the view? No, that's what you did at the end of that clip. You were like, actually looks really good. <laughs> 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 but the view is also really, really good. We thought we can't go to Dubai without going into the Dubai Mall, so we've ended up here. And of course, it's just for us to see what stock they've got compared to like in the UK. Is there anything you want to buy? Such as <laughs> me, do you hate crime? So his way of thinking they'll feel better is a bag. No, literally, somebody, we walked past this woman. I don't know who she was, and she was like, eh, like this to me. And I'm just like, wow, okay, so I really got hate crimed in London. I mean, where are we, in Dubai? I've just found this in Fendi, and look how pretty this is. It's like a little mini baguette foam pouch, and I, I love it, honestly, but I'm not too sure. What do you think? I love Darcy, and I think I'm gonna go back into Dior and buy a fragrance. It's actually been the trip of fragrances. By the way, the whole thing with Huda and Mona wasn't like a brand trip or anything. Um, we were just in Dubai, and obviously they live in Dubai, but I'm gonna go back into Dior because I think 
think I want to get a fragrance from Dior because the Dior fragrances are my favorite. These are all of the fragrances from Dior, but I think this is the one I'm going to end up going with. Toba, to Toba, <laughs> that one. But I also really like Spice Blend, but I think. I might end up going with this one. We left Dior and I got a fragrance and then Darcy also got some things. She got a card holder. My battery just died on my camera so I'm gonna have to use my phone. So sorry if the, so sorry if the quality isn't as good. But, oh my God, there's like literal sharks in here. I didn't realize that, I knew there was fish, but I didn't realize there were sharks. And there's stingrays. To be fair, you can't really see much of it on my phone or much in person either, but. It's insane. Good morning. I am so tired, but I'm being forced to go down for breakfast. So the weather isn't that good because today is the day that we're going to go to the water park and the weather's quite windy. It's quite cold in the room. So we don't know if it's going to be cold outside. We ended up finding the full English breakfast. So I just got hash browns, bacon and beans. <laughs> If this wall park is actually good, this is going to be the highlight of my whole year. <laughs> it is really good. It's going to be the highlight of my... Have you been before? I actually haven't asked. Have you? Yeah. Oh! I didn't know you've been before. We're here! Ah! <laughs> we made it to the water park and apparently that one over there is the slide which has like all the sharks in it. And then I look at this and I can't wait. I literally can't wait. We didn't like a mess up, we literally just went down the tallest, fastest, biggest ride in like the world. And I really hurt myself. I don't know if you can see, but like. So I'm I'm gonna try not hurt myself for the duration left here, but we're going jet skiing later. So I'm also kind of scared for that because I feel like I'm gonna fall off the jet ski. We made it to the beach. The only thing is I just got told to be careful of jellyfish because apparently there is jellyfish in this water and I don't want to get stuck because I don't know if I have health insurance. So yeah. I'm not gonna go into the water. Jellyfish are just really scare me because you can't see them. You know what I mean? They're just, they're just there. But yeah, I really did figure out, like you can tell that these are healing because they're getting worse, if you know what I mean. But I didn't realize how beaten up my face had looked. By the way, I've not been beaten up. Like I said, I had a seizure. But um, yeah, oh my God, look at the Atlantis. We're just going past the Atlantis now. Oh my God, guys, we are about to jet ski. I've never jet skied before, so this is gonna be really exciting. We just got back to the hotel and oh my god, I forgot to tell you guys earlier, but I got told off by the jet ski person because I knocked another jet ski and basically the paint started to fall off. I've got water in my ear, so I'm sleeping on my side to try and get the water out. <laughs> We're going to this place called Hooker, which does like a range of different foods, but it looks really, really good. And apparently it overlooks the whole of Dubai. So that's why we really wanted to go. But look how pretty this is. Wow. I really hope it's not one of those places where like it looks really aesthetic, but it's actually got really shit food. Because <laughs> there's so many places like that in London. And I got the truffle for Katoni. I think Darcy got like a truffle arancini. I got these waffle fries. She also got some burrata and then also this bread. Hey guys, I'm really bad at my job. I literally haven't filmed all day, but that's because I was doing things I couldn't really film because I was looking at properties around Dubai because I really, really want to buy a place in Dubai, but I just, I don't know, maybe give it a few years and then I maybe will. We're planning on going out tonight. However, we realized we just need to start packing because we've got to be out early in the morning. We made it to the Dubai Marina. I've never been here before and it looks so, so, so cool. Like I love these buildings right here. I just love how there's like boats everywhere, but then it's also like so built up with all the buildings and there's water and then there's, I don't know, it's just so cute. We've been walking around the Dubai Marina trying to find a place to eat and we walked past Nando's earlier and we just thought, you know what, we're gonna end up we're gonna end up back at Nando's because we can't find anywhere to eat. There's a lot of these restaurants are like They're all shisha. shisha. Yeah. yeah, they're literally all shisha. The whole way down the street there's people outside each individual shop, like trying to get people to like come into their restaurants. <laughs> and hi. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what? From? I'm from the UK. I love UK. What's your name? I'm Zach. Yeah, this is nice Darcy. To meet you. <laughs> Jack, one minute, one minute, please. One minute. <laughs> Tonight, one minute. Give me a chance, Jack. Tonight. No, I'm fine, thank you. It's so stressful. I feel so sad because we've ended up back at Nando's and I've literally, I think we've literally got the same food as we had last time. Yeah. When there were so many other restaurants we could have eaten at, we come back to Nando's and had the same food. <laughs> After Nando's, we made it to the beach. I actually don't really know where we are, but I can see like this London Eye dupe. <laughs> so that's where we are now. But it's honestly so, so, so beautiful. But we were just saying how scary the sea is actually at night. And also, look how big that cruise ship is. It's huge. 
guys. We're How does it flow? And as well, I've never been on a cruise before, so I don't know what they're like. This is such a flattering angle, but um, we are off to bed. See you in the morning. Good night. Night. <laughs> It's the final morning, we're so sad to be leaving because we haven't really done that much this morning. It's been more of like a lie-in morning, um, but it's been fun this whole trip and I'm actually really upset to be going. I don't want to go back to London. However, London is going to be really Christmassy and it's going to be nice to wear coats again. I just find it really weird that their winter is sunny. <laughs> like it's so crazy to me because I never like experienced that before. This is a travel fit, nothing special. It's literally just a champion t-shirt that I've had since I was 14. <laughs> I've had it since I was 14. Oh my God. Yeah, and I got it from TK Maxx for £10 in Stratford-upon-Avon. We made it through security and we made it to the airport, but wow, like honestly everything in Dubai is just so like elevated compared to London. Like you would never see this in Heathrow, like the waterfall and everything. We made onto the plane, we're going back home. I really don't want to go back to England, but I just thought we might as well just end the vlog here because otherwise you're just going to see England. <laughs> <laughs> when we go, when we go no back, and nobody wants to see England, no. But we had the best time in Dubai. I wish we stayed longer, but we're gonna maybe go on holiday next year somewhere. We were saying Greece. Let's go Greece. Or Japan. Or anywhere other than England. <laughs> Alright, thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.